Hello, I'm Gwen Edwards and welcome to our lives. Well, the Norwalk International Cultural Exchange Festival, or NICE Festival, will celebrate its third anniversary on July 7th. And the world is its oyster, literally, because the event is gonna be held at the Oyster Shell Park in Norwalk and organizers say they expect thousands and those who attend will get a taste of food and culture and entertainment from around the world. And Janet Evelyn is the founder and the organizer and she directs this and we wanna thank you so much for being with us today. Thank you for having me. What can we expect? Well, I tell you, we are very excited about this year. We have an outstanding performance lineup, uh, cultural performances as well as live music performances uh, happening this year. We will have Native American performance, uh, Native American dancers. We'll have dancers from India, dancers from Spain, dancers from Brazil. In addition, we'll also have live music ranging from Andean flutes, to rock, reggae, and salsa. And how did it get started three years ago? Well, that's a really good question. Norwalk has been known for having some smaller cultural festivals in the, pla in the past. We had a, a Haitian festival, a Colombian festival, a Scot the Scottish Games. We had a Puerto Rican day parade. We had a jazz festival. And many of those have sort of disappeared and have um, fallen by the wayside. And uh, when we developed the idea around this festival, we thought of bringing it all together. So the NICE Festival actually bundles all of that into one. And so we have one NICE, no pun intended, NICE Festival. Talk about some of the sponsors. So um, our largest sponsor is the city of Norwalk. We are supported by the Norwalk Recreation and Parks Department. Uh, as a result of the support and through the three years that Rex and Parks have supported the event, the event is a free admission event for the community and that has allowed us to continue to keep it a free admission event this year. Uh, moving forward, we do have some challenges with regards to funding and with reduced funding. Uh, we're hoping that we'll be able to continue to sustain the event as a free festival. So we're looking for more local support to make it happen so that the entire community can enjoy this festival. All right, thank you so much. Thank you. And we wanna thank you for watching our lives. We hope to see you the next time.